Hello everyone, this is Cute Mimi 25 Today's rant is on Season 1 of Digimon Digital Monsters. This show was originally on Fox Kids, but i only seen 2-3 to three episodes on Fox Kids. I usually see most of them on JetX. I like this channel, but sadly it got replaced by Disney XD, which I will do a rant on in the future, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's talk about the characters of Digimon. First, there's Ty. To be honest, I thought he was a good leader. I like the tone of his voice, the clothing and stuff he wore, the goggles and uh, headband thing, cool. Unfortunately, in Season 2, he gave his goggles to Davis, but Davis, I, I'll talk about him in my Season 2 rant, so stick around. And, to be honest, Ty was ten times cooler than Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. That's all I got pretty much to say. Let's move on to the next character. Sora, what can I say about her? I like this character. I'm a fan of Tyora, to be honest. This couple would be okay. I'll do a rant on Tyora in the future. What I have to say about Sora is, she's actually a good character. In the movie Digimon the movie, she was a bit rude because Ty puked in her other hat, not her blue one that you see she's wearing there. However, she looks cuter without the hat on, to be honest. Let's move on to the next character. Matt. I don't have much to say about Matt, but... He's a bit of a show-off and treats Ty like a fool, but Matt's the real fool, to be honest. Yeah, he was way better in Season 2, to be honest. Let's move on to the next character. And now we're moving on to Izzy. What can I say about him? He's a computer geek. He ignored Mimi in Episode 10 of Digimon and made Mimi cry in that episode. That's all I gotta say. Let's move on to Joe. This guy is pretty funny. Now... It was pretty funny when he tried to make those fake telephones working in that one of those episodes. They were fake services because they were being tricked into a trap or something. I don't know what exactly happened, but I think that's what happened in the episode. Yeah, let's move on to the next character. TK. A lot of fangirls actually like this character. In Season 1, he had a high, high childish voice, but in Season 2, he actually had more of a teenish voice. To be honest, TK was cool in Season 1, and yeah, it was cool, to be honest. Now we're going to move on to my Avatar character, Mimi. I actually loved this character when I was younger. I was so addicted to her when I was younger. Yes, I'm an otaku, unfortunately. I mean, look at her hat. The color of her eyes, look at her. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? I know. That's why I got to say it about her. There was one episode called Princess Karaoke where she dressed up as a princess. <laughs> it was pretty funny in one of the episodes where they called her prince in that episode when they called her Princess Meanie. Well, yeah. If you want to see that episode, I'll put the link to that. So, yeah. Now let's talk about the Fun Times 2-2's favorite character, Kari. Now, the Fun Times 2-2 liked this character, Kari, but unfortunately... I'm not sure if he knows what her voice sounds like. When I went over his house, he actually has a pencil that says Digimon, but I'll talk about that later on. As for Kari, I actually like this character. I like the sound of her voice, <laughs> and I liked it when she came into what to see what Ty was up to in that Digimon movie. She said, I wanted to show you my brand new dress. I'm going to a birthday party. <laughs> I like the way she said that in that movie. It was in part one, yeah. Kari rocks overall. Agumon. What can I say about Agumon? It looks like a remade Charmander to be honest, but the only differences between Digimon and Pokemon, Digimon can actually talk and speak with words. Pokemon, they can only speak their name, unfortunately. What can I say about Agumon? Agumon rocks. I like every form and everything. Gabumon. Gabumon. I actually like the phrases he said in that Digimon Rumble game, like Horn Attack and Blue Blaster. Now, his War Digivolve form is okay, but I still like War Greymon more than Mel Garurumon. Let's talk about the next Digimon. Beomon. Personally, Beomon was a good partner for Sora. Get it? Soaring? <laughs> okay, sorry to mock Sora's name, but... What can I say about Beomon? Beomon can fly somewhat. Well, unfortunately, 
can't walk as fast, can't go fast flying in one of those episodes. It was pretty funny. I think it was episode one when I saw that. Now let's talk about the next Digimon. Gunamon. His voice sounds weird. It's actually pretty funny. Yeah, it is. I mean, go watch Digimon and listen to the sound of his voice. It sounds very funny. Sounds like the Fun Times 2 2 talking weird. Not to mock you, Fun Times, but you sound like Gunamon when you talk weird. Tentamon. I don't really like this Digimon that much. I mean, think of it. He's a giant bug. Now, the voice, his voice is also funny. Tentamon! Don't ask me to do an impression of him. Sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes I'm not. So, he was actually a good partner for it, is he? He was a bit electric or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Next, a lot of fangirls like this Digimon a lot. Patamon. They say he's cute. And they're right. He does look somewhat youngish, but I personally like this Digimon as well. Yeah. One of my friends at school mentioned, I asked them if they were to bring any Digimon to life, who would it be? And they picked Patamon for a reason. Now, Patamon has good... Digiforms. I like Angemon to be honest. He was cool. Mang the Angemon was cool. Overall, Patamon rocks. Now let's talk about Palmon. The funny thing is, I sometimes get mixed up between Patamon and Palmon. Personally, Palmon was my most favorite Digimon when I was younger. Because I like that giant cactus, Togemon. Personally, I thought Togemon was cool. That's why I liked Mimi back in the day. Well, I like both Mimi and her digi partner. That's why Mimi was my number one favorite digi Destin, and Palmon was my number one favorite uh, Digimon. And all the attacks and moves that Palmon does, they rock. Overall, Palmon's gotta be the best Digimon. Now Gatomon. The funny thing is, the Fun Times 202's favorite character from Digimon didn't know that Gatomon was Kari's partner, a uh, Digimon partner, so, yeah. Personally, the one thing, I had a scary dream last night, never mind. Let's talk about Digimon movie. Overall, this movie was pretty good. I've seen it many times. Overall, I say it's worth to see it. If you want to see it, go ahead and watch it. However, if you get it on DVD, you'll get a bonus of Angela Anaconda called The Best Movie Ever. They're just trying to see the Digimon movie. But they end up in the wrong theater and didn't know that. So, just type in Angela Anaconda Digimon, something like that. I'll put a link to that if you find it. I didn't watch this movie on Fox Kids. I watched it on Toon Disney's big movie show. Now, I'm disappointed at what happened to Toon Disney. It turned into Disney XD. Same thing happened to Jack. But I'll do that in a different video. So, yeah, pretty much it. Thanks for watching my Digimon Season 1 rant. This is Cute Mimi signing off. Have a nice day.